Hello guys, welcome to this course. In this course, we will create a face morphing effect inside of After Effects without any plugin. Face morphing is a very popular effect and you may have seen in a lot of video and also in feature films. I have to mention that it's a little bit related to visual effects than motion graphics. You can apply face morphing or any other morphing with motion graphics scene also, but image morphing and face morphing is a little bit related to visual effects, dead motion graphics. We will learn from basic of this technique what is morphing itself and we will understand some rules to create this effect and a bunch of other tips and let's get it started. Okay, here I am in Photoshop and we want to create same size for our picture and as an example, let's uh, import our image and the image is available in the resource area of this lecture and you can download that and use uh, in this project. Okay, I want to go in here and click open. Once you click open, you see this very beautiful image from Steve Jobs, founder of Apple. And uh, the rules for creating morphing effect is that the background of both image that you want to morph, for example, from this image to this image, from younger face to the older face, the main uh, rule for this is to matching of the background. In here, you see white in here and also white in here. The background are the same. You can use uh, different colors for the background to create this kind of effect, but one color for both image is a little bit interesting and uh, viewers can feel that uh, the images change or the environment change. The audience or feel that uh, it's in same environment and nothing has changed, just the faces. And the first thing you have to keep in mind that your banner must be the same, like this photo, okay? And you have to make the size of both photos the same. For example, in here, I'm just unlock this layer and uh, let's copy one image, the first image in here, and also uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl N. For creating new and also click OK, paste it in here, Ctrl V. And uh, I want to clear the text in here. You can do from different techniques, but I want to use a very good technique. For example, select here and go to Edit, Fill, and also change this to Continent Aware. And now you see it's completely gone. Okay, make it a little bit, a little bit, not so much like this and it's good. Now save this picture to any format. For example, in here I'm using JPEG and name it face one. Okay, and make it a little bit larger for it because it's a, we want a good quality photo. And now, Let's click in here and drag it to here and copy this, paste it in here over that and hide this and make it a little bit larger. Use the same technique for uh, hiding the text and clear that. Maybe a little bit higher and click on fill, canton it over and OK. Maybe a little bit. Uh, this side and also on this side. It's okay. Click save. JPEG face. Two. Okay. Our work in Photoshop is done. And now it's the turn of After Effects that we have to import these photos inside of After Effects to create our morphing effect. I'm in After Effects and uh, let's import our photos. At the first, let's create a new composition. Uh, I want a HDTV full HD resolution for my composition. And you can either choose different uh, resolution for yourself and frame rate of 29.97, sorry. And also the duration of, um, I think the duration of five is okay. Click OK, our composition is created, and now let's import our photos. 
Okay, in here, I'll choose phase one and phase two, click import and drag it in here, also in here. And the first thing that I want to do is parrot these photos with the null object. And let's change the size of these photos like this. I think it's good. And create a background, white background, put it in here. And also, like this, it's good. Uh, let's rename this to the control. And we want to create a morph effect from this photo, changing of this shape, younger Steve Jobs, to the Holder Steve Jobs. There are several ways to create morphing effect inside of After Effects. You can use different kinds of effects, but in this course, we want to use an effect called Liquify that is exist in here in Desert category in the Liquify. Okay, let's drag this to the phase one. And what Liquify does is is create a kind of distortion to the mesh of these images. Okay, and also if we select the view mesh, you see a kind of mesh that based on this mesh we can distort this image. For example, I can distort like this. You see the meshes already is a kind of great mesh topology that create a kind of distortion for the image, okay? It's the uh, same like the Photoshop liquify. There is a lot of other things that you can do, for example, this, and also you can trail it down like this. And also several other staffs and, and here you can choose the brush size and also the brush pressure the effect of the brush how much effect you want in single brush like this and also there is a distortion person that we talk about it later and it's very important while we create this type of effect okay let's reset that and also apply this effect to the phase two image also in the next lesson, we will distort the first face of this image.